So there's a possibility that an indictment on a case that has been turned down by a number of higher courts already Indictment may be filed, which will lead to some kind of a summons or arrest warrant for a former president. The case is in New York. The former president is in Florida. The governor of Florida has said he's not going to touch the situation. So I don't know if that means he's not going to allow people in or if it means that he's going to just not... Like, oh, extradition, no, I'm not signing off on that. Like, nobody knows. And it could be nothing. It could be absolutely nothing. There could be nothing tomorrow. But in Manhattan, around their district attorney's office, they have fences and partitions up, barricades. There are already people there, many of whom do not appear to be organic protesters. Yes, it's definitely going to be a thing where whatever happens tomorrow, if there's an event there, both sides will take the same picture and say the exact same thing, even if they're diametrically opposed in their minds. If you understand how things work, then you know that tomorrow will be very anticlimactic except for whatever tsunami of idiots happens to move. And I've already seen where you've got your late night talk show guys talking a big game about how it's all over and tomorrow and that's it. The comment sections on these YouTube videos are full of what I can only assume are bots because people can't be that stupid, can they? Yeah, actually, probably they can but I feel bad for anybody that thinks that something serious is going to happen to where the evil big bad orange man is going to suddenly be out of the picture. Yeah, if he enters that Manhattan DA's office, that building is connected or adjacent to the jail housing unit where Epstein definitely didn't kill himself. And if he enters that building, that may be the last anyone sees of him. But I don't think he's going to enter that building. What he's up for on this isn't even a felony. There's no reason for an arrest. There is no reason for jail time. And an indictment means time to press charges. And as soon as it goes before a judge, the judge may dismiss the case. If you know how things work, you understand that it's probably going to be a big old nothing burger tomorrow unless a bunch of idiots do something stupid. And by idiots, I also mean provocateurs, because you'd have to be fucking evil, stupid, to want to or feel that you have no other choice but to engage in such deception. Special place in hell for those people. So, don't know what it's really going to be tomorrow, other than I doubt anything that anybody has predicted will happen. Read into that however you like.